Well, you know, it's been a lot of terrible weather here on the East Coast, but out in um, California and the West Coast has been hit by El Nino storms, which has caused, caused a state of emergency. And we have some drone video. Uh, check this out. These are California's coastline under siege, rain, erosion, and a growing fear of landslides that could shake the Pacific in 2026. The rain did not fall gently. It arrived in long, relentless bands sweeping in from the Pacific, hammering California's coastline hour after hour, day after day. Rivers swelled, hillsides darkened and softened, and along hundreds of miles of rugged coastal bluffs, something far more dangerous began to unfold, the slow, silent weakening of land that holds back the sea. By early 2026, scientists monitoring California's coast say the warning signs are no longer subtle. Across Northern and Southern California alike, intense winter rainfall has saturated cliffs and coastal slopes to a depth rarely observed in recent decades. Water seeps deep into fractured rock, clay-rich soils, and ancient landslide deposits materials already weakened by decades of wave attack and rising sea levels. When that internal pressure builds, gravity takes over. And when gravity winds along a coastline this steep, the results can be violent. The coast is moving, and it's moving faster. From Big Sur's towering cliffs to the crumbling bluffs of Pacifica and Daly City, instruments and visual surveys show accelerating erosion rates. Entire sections of coastline are retreating inland by feet at a time after major storms. Roads buckle, trails vanish, homes inch closer to the edge. Geologists explain that California's coast is geologically young and unstable, constantly reshaped by tectonic forces and wave energy. What makes the current moment different is the combination of extremes. Record or near record rainfall totals, repeated atmospheric river events, strong winter wave energy, higher baseline sea levels that allow waves to strike cliffs more directly. Each storm strips away protective sediment. Each surge undercuts the base of bluffs. Each rainfall event drives water deeper into the rock. This is not just erosion, one coastal geologist warned in recent briefings. This is structural weakening on a regional scale. When land goes to sea, Landslides are already occurring. Mud flows spill onto highways. Rock falls crash into the surf. Entire slabs of coastal bluff collapse without warning, sending thousands of tons of material into the ocean in seconds. Most of the time, these events are localized hazards, dangerous to roads, homes, and people nearby, but quickly absorbed by the vastness of the Pacific. But scientists are now watching for something much larger. In rare cases, massive landslides entering the ocean can displace enormous volumes of water, creating sudden waves that radiate outward from the impact zone. These are known as landslide-generated tsunamis, different from earthquake tsunamis, but capable of causing damage close to shore. Such events are uncommon, but they are well-documented in geological history. In Alaska, Norway, and parts of the Mediterranean, landslide-triggered waves have reached heights of tens of meters in confined waters. California's open coastline reduces that risk, but does not eliminate it entirely, especially in bays, coves, or near steep submarine slopes. Why 2026 has scientists paying attention. 
Researchers stress that no tsunami is predicted for 2026. There is no single crack, no countdown clock, no imminent collapse identified. What concerns scientists instead is probability stacking. California is entering a period where multiple risk factors overlap. Coastal cliffs already weakened by decades of erosion. Heavy rain, increasing poor pressure inside slopes. Ongoing seismic activity capable of destabilizing saturated ground. Submarine canyon systems just offshore that could amplify underwater landslide movement. If a large coastal landslide were to occur suddenly, plunging a massive volume of material into the sea, it could generate localized tsunami waves, especially dangerous because they would arrive with little warning. These are low probability, high impact scenarios, researchers say, but ignoring them would be a mistake. The hidden threat below the surface what the public cannot see may be the most unsettling part. Off California's coast, the seafloor drops steeply into deep submarine canyons, some rivaling the Grand Canyon in scale. Sediments carried from collapsing cliffs accumulate on these slopes. Over time, they can become unstable. Heavy rainfall doesn't just affect land. It feeds sediment into the ocean, where gravity and seismic shaking can trigger underwater landslides that travel for miles. If such a collapse coincided with coastal failure, the energy transfer could be significant. This is why oceanographers, geologists, and tsunami scientists are now cross-analyzing rainfall data, coastal erosion maps, and seafloor imaging, searching for patterns that suggest increasing instability. A coastline at a tipping point. For communities along the Pacific edge, the threat is not abstract. Highways like Highway 1 are already closing repeatedly due to slope failure. Emergency managers are updating evacuation maps. Coastal cities are reassessing development near unstable bluffs. And scientists are clear. The coastline Californians grew up with is changing faster than expected. Not collapsing overnight, but weakening inch by inch, storm by storm. Not fear, but vigilance.